I uh, just purchased one of these um, turntables that you can hook up to your computer through the USB port. And uh, man, uh, you know, found a way that I, how to utilize the old vinyl records there and bring some of them old memories uh, back to life here. So I thought I'd share it with you. Check it out. Okay, um, it came with this program called Easy Vinyl Converter. It's kind of a one, two, three step thing there. You can, uh, you know, adjust your gain and right here, watch your levels. Unless it's a really poor quality, low volume thing there, I, I just leave it where it is. So um, anyway, let's, uh, let's check this out here. This is a, an album that uh, comes back from the, I believe it's the late 70s, local band here, friends of mine, people I looked up to, uh, admire, learned a lot from. Okay, so basically you can start the, the, the album from the beginning and let it go all the way through and it'll track the breaks in between each track. But uh, I'm going to let it do its thing here, and as uh, soon as the um, song's finished, we'll come back to it. Okay, now that um, uh, in this program, Easy Vinyl, now that, say, the, the song or the... Um, album has uh, finished we would type in uh, the name of the of the artist and then the album name which happens to be the same Okay, we'll hit the next button. The program will uh, convert this automatically and it will put place it into iTunes. I'm gonna go into another program here called uh, Adobe Audition and uh, we're gonna open up that file that we uh, just uploaded. iTunes Music, iTunes, down here to Music. Living Free. This is the one we did today here. So let's open that up. Yeah, and so what? Okay. And we'll take a listen. As you can see, it sounds just like an old record. It's got all the white noise and the pops and cracks and, you know, and that's kind of cool if you like pops and cracks and noise and stuff. And this is not a perfect program, but you know what? You can clean it up a little bit. I mean, it, does, it doesn't totally digitize it so that it's, it's pristine, but it, it, it brings it a long ways. And uh, let me show you a couple of tricks that I learned how to do here in the last couple of days. So if we come back to the beginning, and we, and we hear this little bit uh, right here. We can definitely take all that out. And we'll listen to it. Okay. Uh, go up to effects, noise reduction, capture, noise print. What that does is that little section there that's highlighted in the white, it will capture that and then it's going to remember that. So now if we do a, like a select all, then we're going to go back and to the effects and we're going to hit noise reduction. And what it's going to do, it's going to look through the whole file for that kind of noise stuff and um, we're going to take it out. So it, and, and it'll let you adjust it here. So we'll do a little preview.
And the nice thing of it is with this program here, you can do it on the fly as you want. You can adjust, make adjustments. Okay. So let's go back to the beginning. We want to hear this. See how much. Now right there, see we have that one big pop and you can see the in the graft here how it, it pretty much goes top to bottom right there, pop. We're going to come back to that, but for the most part, you can see that we've taken out a lot of that noise and we can in increase it by adjusting these sliders right here. And we'll, we'll accept that for now. Hit apply. It'll take a second. It'll <clears throat> analyze it, bring it up to date. So let's go back to the beginning. Okay. Not too bad. Now, if we come right here and we hit this one spot right here, we can take this, this. Uh, adjuster right here and we can bring that way down see you can see how it's bringing that uh, that pop down okay remember it went all the way to the top and bottom now it's it's mixed inside the graph there so if we wanted to play in here that pop again not so bad Okay, so now over here on the left we have these um, this uh, this uh, rack effect, and we can come over here and we can open up um, different uh, different little effects that we want to do. You know, so let's click on the automatic click remover, and uh, it has three settings here: default, heavy, light, medium. Let's hit play and see what default sounds like. And we'll start it at the beginning. That's not too bad. Okay, I mean, I'm not going to bore you with the whole song because I mean, if you really wanted to get anal about it, you could, uh, you could spend all day here. I mean, like right here, we have this 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 uh, line that seems to go way out. Let's see what that is. Single head toms. Can you tell that? You have to be a drummer from the 70s to know that. I think these guys recorded this back in like, I don't remember, 78 or 79. I, I was just, I was still in high school, Mike. You know, anyway. Um, all right, we'll check this out. Let's come back down here and let's uh, add a couple more effects. Uh, like an EQ. And we'll hit, we'll come back over here somewhere and we'll hit play. And with these custom, I mean, I'll start here. Uh, I found out that, that uh, unless you're a really good sound engineer, know what freaks you want to lift and separate, I'd start down here. Something like uh, maybe this uh, uh, vocal boost here.
Cool. Adds a little bit more presence to um, uh, Marty's uh, voice there. And, you, you know, I mean, you can just keep adding and adding and adding. Um, check this out. Full reverb. Okay, so maybe that's a little too much, but anyway, it doesn't hurt to try. You know, we can come down here and we can pick here again. These presets are pretty cool. You can make your own preset once you figure out something that you that you like and you're going to use over and over again. Here, let's try this one. Well, I don't really notice a whole lot of difference there from what we had before. Let's pick another one just real quick. And play. Let's come here. Okay, and I guess that's not too bad. There's that little spot in there. It seems like uh, maybe one of the engineers on the mix down was uh, playing with the bass setting or something right there. I don't really know what was happening. And you know what? You, If you really, like I said, if you want to get anal about it, you can just highlight that spot right in here. Yeah, I don't know what... Somebody was adjusting something on the mix down and... I don't know if it was a bass or what. But you know, you could take this spot here and uh, make another track out of it and kind of tweak it just a little bit. But to me, I mean, um, this album is now, what, 30-some uh, years old? Uh, and, uh, you know, why? Why bother? You know, It's not even on the market anymore, and uh, uh, these guys aren't together. But uh, part of memories. Okay, so... Now let's, uh, uh, a couple other things to wrap this up here real quick. If we go back to the beginning, you got a little bit of dead space here. So we'll take that right there. We can delete it. Go to the end. See what's happening here. And that's not so bad. And for what it's worth, let's call that one a wrap. We'll come up here. We'll hit uh, save. Oh, okay. Cancel. We have to apply our um, effects over here. Voila. Okay. Okay. So now, if we go back to iTunes, Here it is in our iTunes folder. <laughs> I just can't tell you which one is which at the moment. Uh. 
anyway that's kind of it in, in a nutshell and you can see how um, how nice it sounds we can turn it up a little bit all that hiss and pop is out of there and uh, you know something to put in your archives uh, what I did just to um, as as this program loads everything in iTunes you can um, uh, have iTunes collect the artwork for you or what I did was I just took a picture of the album and stuck it in here and uh, you know in the in the files we're uh, under get info it's asking for the artwork and you can put the artwork right there anyway uh, Brian, primarily this was for you. I know you've been doing some of this stuff with your old jazz albums and stuff. And um, uh, it's kind of cool. Uh, I kind of miss looking at the albums and seeing who actually the players are. But in this case here, these these guys happen to be my friends for, for a long, long time, you know. And uh, I know who they are. But uh, sure is nice to see somebody's picture and their name on the back of it and on various other albums. So anyway, enjoy. And... Uh, We'll see if we can't come up with something else to do.